Should product testing on animals and humans be allowed? Animal and human testing has been going on for over 150 years. These tests are used for medicines and products, and over 1 million animals are used for testing every year. Um, this is a like map of how like the animal per testing percentage, and New Zealand has 88%, and that's the highest, and then the lowest is in Taiwan with 62%. So many animals are used for testing because 95% of the animals are not used are not like protected by the AWA, which is like the Animal Warfare Act, and this act like protects animals from not being tested on. Many scientists prefer using mice or chimpanzees as test subjects because chimpanzees are really close to us in DNA by 99%, and mice are genetically alike by 98%. There have also been many cases of human testing. For example, do you know all those bath bombs and other products that you buy from Lush were on the bag? They say that they're for any animal testing. That is true, however, they're testing their products on humans. There are videos and pictures online of them testing their products. This is um, from the video, and it like really amazed me on how they treated this person. Like, and it, and it, like it was really cool. And I'm kind of debating whether I want to buy it or see it anymore. But um, now we're going to move on to the pros of animal testing. Animals have been used to make many cures and help save many lives. Um, some examples would be like cure of brain injury, tuberculosis, and childhood leukemia. Another major vaccine would be the polio vaccine. There was over 350,000 cases in 1998, but in 2012, um, they only found 223 cases. Um, this is a picture of whatever, in 1980, this is how much they had, and then this is in 2004, which is like less than 500, and that was in Africa in 1998, where they had it everywhere, and then in 2012, they only had it in Nigeria. This is a very dramatic change. Animals have the same organs as us, such as kidneys, lungs, and hearts, and many more. This happened because of common ancestors. Another pro of test animal testing would be that like te um, animals don't live as long as us. So like mice, they only have a lifespan of three years. And this is a pro because scientists can test the effects of their experiments um, over a, a whole lifespan of an animal. And this is less time consuming, too. There aren't very many species who get tested on. We eat more animals than are being tested on. Next would be the cons of using animals and humans for products. Um, this is very brutal. Most of the chemicals that they use kill about 50% of the animals they test on. Testing on animals does work to solve some problems, but um, the test on animals' um, offspring can have birth defects. For example, scientists tested a sleeping pill on animals which worked very well and had a good outcome for people who needed it to sleep. There was just one problem with it. Babies were being born with birth defects. This drug also caused many heart attacks and strokes. They take off the shelves immediately as soon as they simulate it done. Animal um, testing usually costs up to $32,000, but like the lowest you can get it is um, $11,000 if you're testing on mice. Um, if you're looking for a cure for cancer, for two species lifetime would be two to four million dollars. This is a whole lot of money just for animal testing. The U.S. spends about 31 billion dollars every year for um, animal research. The prices are getting higher and higher, and mostly all the tests that we perform fail. 87 percent of the animal tests that we perform fail. This means that we are killing a whole lot of animals who could just be living a normal life, but instead they're being affected by uh, the chemicals that they put in the test subject. Animals who stay alive and show no effects are usually sacrificed because they don't want any of the chemicals that they've already put in the animal to get mixed up. Animals suffer the same way we do, the same way we do. So why don't we treat them with love and respect as we treat each other? How is it fair when they can to not tell us like how they're feeling or what they're thinking? So how can it, we like know if what's happening in their body? How would you feel if someone just injected something into your body without knowing anything about it or knowing any possible outcomes? Even though there aren't very many good and bad effects of this, it's still affecting humans, animals, and babies today. So like I said before, let's treat animals with respect like we treat each other.